half an hour or so. And when I eventually did come round, my body was literally black and blue. Only now is he revealing the full story behind a heart attack in June. He collapsed after a concert in Turkey and only survived because he was found and treated quickly. His 50-year career is now on hold. He's been forced to pull out of Quo's last ever tour as an electric band. Even though Francis Rossi and Quo are moving to the gentler pace of acoustic shows and have drafted in temporary replacements, Rick may be unable to make a comeback. I'm just aware of the fact of the nervousness I get before I go on stage. I, it does pump your heart and uh, I, I do not want to tax myself in any way. I've been told medically not to, right? So whether it's a full gig or whether it's a cameo, I'd, I'd still get fairly nervous, you know, and I do not want to get out on that stage and drop dead in front of the fans. I do not want to do that. For now, he's taken a complete break at his home in Spain and contemplating less demanding solo projects in the new year. I, I do miss the lads, I miss the laughs we have on the road and I, you know, I do miss being with Quo, of course I do. I, I've got to apologise to the fans really because it's my fault. You know, you live the rock and roll lifestyle and at some stage you've got to pay for it. And I am now paying for it. This was his third heart attack and he's undergone surgery several times. His memory has been affected but his sense of humour remains unimpaired. Here I am sitting here now after this immense trauma that I've been through and actually having died, you know. And if anybody's thinking about it, there's nothing happens. <laughs> it all goes black. It's not quite status quit yet, but if he is to survive, then one of British rock music's biggest stars may be forced into semi-retirement. Ian Woods, Sky News. Great man, and uh, he'll.